has impacted just about everything, including groceries. Butter has been hit especially hard. The Wall Street Journal reports butter prices are up 24 percent. Butter supply shortages are reportedly to blame. According to Food and Wine magazine, America's stores of butter are at their lowest ever since 2017. The butter shortage caused by factors including labor shortages and a, milk, a decline in milk production couldn't come at a worse time. And a former rideshare driver accused in six sexual assaults was in court Monday. 43-year-old William N. Cortez was arrested Friday by Boston police. He is facing two counts of rape and one count of indecent assault and battery. Man Cortez also faces charges in nearby jurisdictions, including aggravated rape and kidnapping. Investigators say all six of the sexual assaults linked to Man Cortez took place in the early morning hours inside the suspect's vehicle. They also noted all the victims were targeted due to their levels of intoxication. And on to our entertainment news this morning. Megan Thee Stallion has built a website for fans that lists mental health resources. The website is called Bad Bees Have Bad Days Too. The name comes from a verse in the entertainer's single, Anxiety. The website includes a massive list of free therapy organization, various helplines, and places to find substance abuse help. The site gives special attention to resources for members of traditionally marginalized communities, such as members of the black and Latino communities. Last year, Megan Thee Stallion publicly talked about going to therapy after her mother died of brain cancer in 2019. And Darth Vader's deep voice will live on with and without James Earl Jones. He's been recording the legendary Star Wars villains line since 1977, but the 91-year-old actor hasn't done any voice work for the franchise since 2019. According to Vanity Fair, Jones took part in an artificial intelligence program that helped recreate his voice for future projects. A Ukrainian startup called Respeacher worked on developing a version of Jones' voice, which was featured in the Disney Plus miniseries Obi-Wan Kenobi. Vanity Fair also reports Jones signed off on the deal to allow his voice to be used in future Lucasfilms projects through uh, AI and archival recordings. Pretty cool stuff there. It's still to come on Sunrise, a chocolate overload. Why today is the perfect day to go find some chocolate and milk. That's coming up next. I'm Dr. Raul Ruiz and I approve this message. I grew up in Coachella where my first home was a trailer. My parents were farm workers and they worked hard so we could have a better life. I wanted to serve the community, so I became a doctor, started free clinics, and mentored young people. I ran for Congress to stand up for families like yours here in the Imperial Valley. Whether fixing our immigration system or fighting for jobs, affordable health care, and housing, I would be honored to work for you. The new Miracle Blade World Class 2012 <laughs> Professional Series is the best set of nine.